Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, so next track that we're going to talk about is the dorsal columns, also called the DCML for dorsal columns uh, medial lemniscus, uh, because they're both very prominent areas in this track. Uh, so the dorsal columns are primarily involved in fine touch, vibration, and proprioception. Uh, and as I mentioned before, this is one of those spinal tracks where the upper extremity and the lower extremity actually have slightly different pathways. Uh, so again, this is, these are my kind of six main boxes, and then let's just label a couple things that I um, added. So in the lower extremity specifically, we're going to have just this division between our dorsal columns separating the two fas uh, fasciculus gracilis, or fasciculus gracili. Um, we move up towards the upper extremity, and now we're going to add on not only fasciculus gracilis, but also lateral to that is the fasciculus cuneatus. Uh, so we can see all those here on the spinal cord, fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus. Um, as we enter the medulla then, it's going to be important to note not only the fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus uh, here in this dark blue, but also their associated nucleus, so the uh, gracile nucleus or the nucleus gracilis and the cuneate nucleus or nucleus cuneatus. Uh, and one thing that is really important to remember is that any uh, fasciculus or tract or anything in the spine or in the brainstem on these stains is going to look dark while a nucleus is going to look light. So this is nucleus gracilis, whereas this is fasciculus gracilis. Also on this page, it's important to note the internal arcuate fibers, which I can see actually arcing here on the caudal medulla. And then also we want to pay attention to the medial lemniscus, which is where they'll later ascend. Again, as we look up in the pons, we're just following our medial lemniscus. Uh, like the spinal thalamus in the last one, is going to move more laterally and more dorsally as we go up. So there's it in the midbrain. And then again, once we get to the diencephalon, we see the thalamus. Um, VPL is where we're going here, but again, we can't tell that difference. Okay, so let's draw these guys. So I have this divided up, um, again, lower versus upper extremity. So we'll start lower extremity first. Uh, so say you, you feel a vibration on your foot. You're gonna sense that. And it's gonna enter your spinal nerve through a DRG. So your first cell body is in your DRG, but remember this is a pseudo-unipolar uh, cell. So you're not actually synapsing there. It's just receiving sensory fibers and then sending efferents up. And we'll travel up here in our fasciculus gracilis. So this will ascend the entire way of the spinal cord. It has not decussated, it is not synapsed. Ascending again through my fasciculus gracilis. Ascending all the way up till I get to the caudal medulla, at which point I'll hit nucleus gracilis. And this will be our second cell body. This will be that synapse, nucleus gracilis. This point is going to decussate through the internal arcuate fibers to reach this tract on the other side, the medial lemniscus. And from there, without synapsing, it's going to ascend through the pons, through the midbrain. And again, the, the VPL, which as I said, VPL is everything body. At that point, it will go through the, once the synapse, it will go through the internal capsule, through the corona radiata, and because this is legs, it will go on the medial portion of the primary somatosensory cortex. So let's compare that to lower extremity, or upper extremity. So here we have hand. So now your hand's vibrating. Again, we're going to go through the dorsal root ganglion. Not synapsing, just going through. And here we're going to enter the fasciculus cuneatus, which as you can notice is lateral. Um, I just always remember that this is lateral. It makes sense that these arm fibers are kind of coming in and they really push the gracilis fibers towards the middle and they're taking out the outside. It's going to then ascend through the rest of the spinal cord up until the caudal medulla, at which point it is going to synapse here, uh, nucleus cuneatus, and then like the uh, lower extremity pathway is going to decussate through the internal arcuate fibers and ascend through medial lemniscus, up through the medulla, through the pons, through the midbrain, again synapse in the VPL, through our internal capsule, corona radiata, and then enter towards the upper extremity part of our sensory homunculus. 
So these are both dorsal columns for fine touch and vibration. Uh, both of them are going to ascend the entire spinal cord as opposed to the anterolateral system would decussate it early on and won't decussate till the medulla. Uh, really the only difference is that the upper extremity is going to be more lateral in the fasciculus and nucleus cuneatus versus the lower extremity is more medial in the fasciculus and nucleus gracilis. Uh, they'll both then decussate through the internal arcuate fibers and then ascend through the medial lemniscus to the VPL through the internal capsule, corona radiata, and then finally through the primary sensory cortex.